Hi guys, thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. I just wanted to do a quick wrap up of all the projects you saw earlier and just kind of explain what I'm planning to do with them. January was actually really fun because I let myself create a bunch of projects that I've been intending to start for a while now, but for whatever reason, and there, there are many, um, I've kind of put off and put on the back burner. Creating handbound sketchbooks, journals, whatever you want to call them, um, with wood covers is something I've wanted to create for a while now the project's kind of been at the back of my head but I haven't had the energy or motivation to really create them up until this point. At the end of January in case you didn't know I'm retiring my zodiac bookmark collection so that's going to open up a lot of spare time for me to focus on other projects that I want to pursue, the handbound sketchbooks being one of them. So as you saw earlier in the video this is my prototype wooden tarot sketchbook and I really really like it. I need to perfect the binding a little bit but overall I really like the aesthetic of it. You also saw me make a standalone wooden tarot card. I really like the design that I created for the back of that card um, and I'm going to use that design on, on all of the cards going forward. But one thing I, I didn't actually end up liking very much is the combination of the walnut stain and the gold leaf. That's the aesthetic I use for my gilded bookmark collection and I really love it with them but for some reason and I don't know why I just don't think it worked as I was intending it to on this specific uh, tarot card. Now I don't know if you guys are going to agree but when you compare them side by side I much prefer the natural wood version of the of the book card. I can't talk, I just think the natural wood one looks so much more like striking and whole. I don't know, I really, I really like the natural wood so I'll put a poll up on my Instagram or something um, and I'll see what you guys think. I also made a couple of mini sketchbooks out of some scrap art paper I had lying around. The one you saw me make was the uh, like koi fish one. I think it's really cute. I really like it. I thought it would be really fun to use it as kind of like a material swatch book. So if you're planning to do a watercolor or ink piece on some archer's paper, it would maybe be nice to be able to test how your material is going to look on the paper beforehand without wasting any of your expensive, expensive materials. So yeah, I think I might offer that on my shop if enough people like it. It's not perfect. The pages aren't completely even, like some are a bit longer than the others. And I don't know, it doesn't affect the functionality of the sketchbook, so I might still offer it, but yeah, I don't know. Another mini sketchbook that you didn't see me make is this one. I actually prefer this one to the fish version. I don't know why, I prefer the stain. The stain's more of a like a charcoal grey with a touch of brown, whereas the fish creature one is more of a warm walnut brown. And I also really love the simplicity of the design on this second one. Like the fish creature design, um, this was just a sketch I found in an old journal. And I really liked it, but I didn't really know what to do with it, so I've just repurposed it and 
burnt it onto a piece of wood. But yeah, I really like all those sketchbooks and ultimately I really like the tarot series that I'm creating. So they're gonna be in my next shop update, which I think is gonna be the 1st of February. Just follow me on Instagram, I'll post about it there probably. And then you also saw me make some wax seals. I thought offering them as self-adhesive wax seal stickers, if you will, would be a nice option for people who don't want all the faff of having to get the wax beads and the melting pot thing, I don't know what it's called, the melting spoon or the hot glue gun for wax sealing sticks and then having to buy different wax seal designs. It's, it's, I love it and if you do want to get into wax sealing, I 100% recommend buying kits for it and browsing through Amazon and Etsy and looking at all the different wax seal stamps you can buy. But if all you want is just a few different design options for, I don't know, a quirky letter that you're writing someone or just for your junk journal, something like that, I thought that having some adhesive wax seal stamps would be a nice alternative. I've got a whole box of them here and they sound amazing. I dropped some on the floor. They're really nice to hold. They give me a lot of satisfaction to make and and they're just pretty. But yeah, I hope you liked the footage that I've put together and let me know what you think about all the different products. It would be really helpful if I could get people's feedback on the tarot card design specifically and which version you prefer. Yeah, if you, if you let me know, that would be really helpful because I don't know. I think what it might be with the dark wood version, this one, I think the reason I might not be liking it is because maybe I went a bit too dark with the stain. So I don't know if that's the issue and if I should maybe make another prototype. I don't know. Help me, help me please, help me figure it out. Yeah, okay, so thank you again for watching. Hope you liked it. And thank you so much for your support on my last video, the um, artist vlog from summer. Uh, I really, really enjoyed doing that commission and I really enjoyed creating the vlog for you. So it makes me, it makes me happy to know that you guys liked it too. So yeah, have an awesome day and I'll see you next week.